Okay, hello and welcome to this tutorial on route auto summarization. Now in the ICND1 material, we introduced the concept of route summarization. And there we said we can take a bunch of routes and we can represent all of them by just using one single route. And when we do this, we get a benefit of reducing the size of the route table because we just don't have as much information in there. This in turn can lead to faster route lookups because there's just less information to parse in order to find your destination route. So we're reducing the size of our route table, we're improving performance, and we can still reach all destinations, we're just using fewer routes to do so. Now there are two ways that you'll come across route summarization. The first one is you can manually configure it and we have a dedicated tutorial on the manual configuration of route summarization. The second way is you can rely on what is known as auto summarization and that's performed by some routing protocols and that's going to be the focus of this tutorial. Now the protocols that support auto summarization are RIP version 1, RIP version 2, and EIGRP. OSPF does not support auto summarization. And when you think about auto, auto summarization, we need to bring up the topic of classful and classless routing protocols again. Because classful routing protocols must use auto summarization. So RIP version 1, that is a classful routing protocol. It has no choice, it has to use auto summarization. However, some classless routing protocols also support auto summarization, and some of them allow for it to be enabled or disabled. So you can use it or you can decide not to use it. An example of that would be EIGRP. Now let's take a look at how auto summarization works. So here we have router A and router B, and they're connected via a serial connection, and we're using this subnet to number those interfaces. Now router A also has a bunch of directly connected subnets and these are uh, those subnets here. They're all slash 27s and they're coming from the class A network, the 10 dot space. Now router A and router B, they use EIGRP to exchange routes. And as we mentioned, EIGRP is a classless routing protocol, but it does support auto -summar summarization. In fact, EIGRP defaults to using auto summarization. So let's see what this means. With auto summarization enabled, whenever a router advertises one classful network over another, it must summarize those routes. So here, when router A sends a route update, an EIGRP update to router B, it will only advertise one route to represent all three of these slash 27s. The route that router B will, will receive is this 10 dot class A network. It's a slash 8. Now why is that? Well, if we review that definition again of what auto summarization is, whenever a router advertises one classful network over another, it must summarize. Well, the serial link is using IP address space from the 172.16.1.0 subnet. That's a class B address space. The routes we're advertising are from the 10 dot class A network space. So router A is sending route updates about one classful network, the 10 dot addresses, over another classful network, the 172 uh, network. Okay, so what we have here is commonly referred to as a classful network boundary. It's where you have one classful network meeting another. If you're ever not sure if or why auto summarization would occur, you just simply have to determine if the routes being advertised are in a different classful network than the interface through which they're being sent. So here it's pretty clear. Router A wants to advertise these three 10 dots. It's using a uh, auto summarization, so uh, it realizes that the serial interface is using a different classful network IP addressing scheme. So auto summarization kicks in and it sends the classful uh, route advertisement over to router B. Now the configurations to enable or disable auto summarization are pretty easy. By default, RIP version 1, RIP version 2, and EIGRP default to using auto summarization. If you want to disable it, 
all you have to do is enter the no auto summary command and that's a protocol configuration command. Keep in mind though only RIP version 2 and EIGRP allow you to disable auto summarization. Okay let's summarize what we covered. Basically, route summarization is just representing many routes by just using one single route. And RIP version 1, version 2, and EIGRP all support auto summarization. And auto summarization really just boils down to whether or not your advertisements are crossing a classful network boundary. So if your advertisements are in one classful network, and they're being sent out an interface which is numbered using a different classful network, auto summarization will automatically kick in and summarize those routes along classful networks. If you want to disable auto summary, the protocol configuration command is no auto summary. Okay, so that's it. That is route auto summarization. Thanks for watching.